Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. This is a shop with me video, but I'm going to take you to a different kind of store. We're going to Acorns and Threads, which is a counted cross stitch establishment. It's in Beaverton, Oregon. My friend Katie, who is the quilter, wanted to go there. She's also been doing a lot of cross stitching and I was ready for a drive. So I went along. I didn't think I would have nearly as much fun as I did but I thought I would make a video so Noni could see and then I found so much neat stuff in there for junk journalers maybe for card makers but the embellishments might be a little spendy for us all kinds of neat stuff so I'll just walk you through and show you the selection of glass seed beads was really impressive cross stitch and embroidery people are very particular about their colors so the selection of beads and colors in threads and everything is just amazing in this store. There's a whole section in the back of metallic threads on spools. I failed to get video of that. So if you go there, be sure to check it out. Again, this is Beaverton, Oregon. I started to look at the needles and stuff because for making journals, I need some bigger needles. But then I got sidetracked and I wanted to see what Katie was doing. Look at this store. It is packed. It is absolutely packed. And I'll tell you about how to actually get in there and shop in this video also. Katie was looking for fabric to do a spring wall hanging on. She didn't like the pattern. And I love this like robin's egg almost a little on the minty color that she picked. When she said she wanted blue, I even had my doubts. But when I saw the color she meant, I was in. There are all these rounders with wonderful, wonderful textiles on them. Tassels, junk journals, threading things, bookmarks. The selection in here is unbelievable. I did not know that a store like this existed. And I've been in and out of Beaverton a lot because if you recall, that's where Whimsy's, the scrapbooking store that I love and paper crafting store and Paper Parachute, they're next door to each other in Beaverton. Look at these. They're a wool fiber and the colors are great. I tried to get some of the prices as I moved through. I do not think you would go there to buy your embellishments as a value necessarily. You would go there for the selection, the fact that you could get any perfect pink or blue that you needed and just the sheer variety. Look at these things. These are cool. They're metallics and in really, really fun colors. So if you wanted to do threads on embellishment clusters or little tiny bows, look at these fuzzy stuff things. I was so overwhelmed with the selection and cool stuff in this store. And you know how I am. The first time I go to a store, I just panic. So you're going to laugh when you see what I bought. But I, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe all the neat stuff that I would use and like to have in my craft room that I hadn't seen, that I didn't know was in here. I'll show you some more. I like the variegated threads. There's a lot of variegated options. So you could find a variegated product that goes with a paper collection you're using. Just really neat stuff and so many metallics. I'm completely hooked on metallics. Are you guys? I think it adds having gold or silver or a copper color just those you can get those put them in your stash they're neutrals they go with everything don't get me wrong you can buy all the metallic blues too look at these these are essentially like really fancy dmc floss that that's what they are you might have embroidery floss in your stash but the selection in this store is amazing and i did not film all of the types i just filmed some there were I think there can be four people in the store. So there were a couple other people in there besides us. And I didn't want to get them in my video, of course. Look at these. I was having so much fun. I'm going to show you some really neat variegated ones. And I'll talk to you about if you want to go. If you want to go, we got there about 940 in the morning. They open at 10. A while before they open, they put a list outside and you put your name on it. There were maybe six to ten cars by the time they opened at ten and you can go in 
I think four at a time, right? So it takes a while to get through the cars. So definitely plan to wait or get there early. I asked Katie if they have lulls in the afternoon or that kind of thing. She said she's been there at other times of the day and had to wait a half an hour. So you might want to call ahead if you're trying to road trip through town and see if you can get your name on the list. They're just keeping it very safe for COVID. I was shocked at the volume of people that were there. In fact, I stopped filming and left so that someone else could come in if there was a single Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Silk Lame braid. That is just gorgeous. I was thinking bows, little knots on clusters, maybe a layer, you know, on a button or you tuck it through a button and have a knot coming out the back. All of those are just embroidery floss in a different kind of package. And then there's a bunch of skeins hanging over there. Really neat variegated. So lots of times that's what I'm looking for is the different patterns and color groupings because that way if you don't want to buy two you could just buy one or you might find the one that goes perfectly with your summer paper collection i i could not believe the selection now there are also a million cross stitch patterns in there i didn't go through the cross stitch patterns my apologies to noni and the other cross stitchers i was just so intrigued by all the colors and textures I think I was probably looking at it more from the lens of the things I would use these days. I used to do cross stitch. I haven't done it lately. Look at that. So I wasn't as interested in the patterns. Look at that pink and green. That would be so fun for one of those hot colored summer collections that we have or some kind of spring or summer journal. So anyway, lately I haven't been cross stitching. The selection in patterns and colors and everything is so different than the last time that I did cross stitching. I think Katie might suck me back into it. And I think she's re-inspired Noni because Noni asked me for a particular color DMC one day. I think we're getting out some UFOs. I'm sure I have some around here in my house somewhere. You could go in if you wanted to match someone's color styles or make an accessory for a wedding or a journal for a wedding or maybe a school has unusual colors and you want to do a, a a mascot or school themed something i mean every single possible color and some different textures so you could mix in some metallics or some fuzzies different brands to get a little bit different stuff i just love the variegated they're so cool. I think if you're a tassel maker, this would be a fun place to look at these. I'll take them all. I'll take every one of them. <laughs> this whole section, I was like, yes, please. And I tried to get the tags too. So if you're not in Oregon and you can't pop into the store, you would have an idea of what you were looking at. And maybe there's a store near you. I had no idea this place was there. I had heard Katie tell us about it. She also didn't tell me that I was going to be completely overwhelmed and impressed by what was there. Then look at these. We have, as paper crafters, Fimo beads. I think that's what you would call them. You know, the, the little clay stuff in different areas. These are, I would say, exquisite compared to most of the ones that I've seen for us to purchase really detailed. They have holes in them for buttons. The smallest ones you see are $1.60. So you're not going to go in there and buy mountains and mountains of them. But again, if you were making a specific journal or someone's graduation card or some really big anniversary or whatever, they are definitely worth trying. Really neat and not too thick. So you could definitely use them. This drawer, they're ceramic. Look at those stars. I forgot to come back to this drawer. I would have bought some of those little blue ones that Katie's pointing out for me. They're ceramic buttons. Love them. This drawer, they're also ceramic. So you have all these animals in ceramics. And I'm just trying to give you an idea of what they have. So I'm not going super, super slow, but that way you're seeing the selection. This is a whole other divider next to it. So two sets of them with drawers, insects. I was looking for bees because I was working on Smash That Small Paper Pad. 
I couldn't believe how much selection they had. They had three different kinds of bees in several different sizes. Almost all of the things you see, not the ceramics, but the Fimo or clay beads, they come in different sizes. And look, there's a beehive there. Really, really neat stuff. Sorry about the angle on this drawer. We're gonna move on in a minute. Look, different bees, different color palettes, depending on if you're doing more of a softer color or trying to match a certain paper, maybe. Little caterpillars, butterflies. Really, really neat stuff. I love the birds and the variety of colors and they're so bright and beautiful. There are other ones too in some packages that I'll show you briefly. Cats and dogs. I was so impressed by the selection in this store. When they carry something, they don't mess around. It's not one or two. We were trying to figure out the green things are frogs. Took us a minute. They're just very, very cute. Little fish, all kinds of stuff. The details on them was just so fun. That drawer in the very beginning with the Christmas stuff was good. So here's a different, this is a rack where they're bagged and just cute little buttons. Some of these I think are clay and then some of them are just plastic and maybe ceramic, holly and chickens and the little birds. I love those little blue birds. So cute. And some butterflies. And then these are like a fancy art ones. They're all different. And then they have little stainless steel ones. Tiny, tiny things that you would love to have to decorate. Look at these. Have you seen these before? Pin mini. These would be really fun on a mixed media project or decorating the cover of a journal. And they have different themes, different holidays, different seasons. Of course, there are bees, 4th of July, really, really cute. I saw a mixed media project this week that had a pin on the cover of a journal, and then I stumbled into these the next day, I think. So I thought those were neat. Then look at these little, tiny, tiny buttons. Really cute. Sometimes the buttons that we get that would go on clothes and stuff are a little bit big for what we want to do on cards. Maybe they work okay in a mini album, but not great for cards. <laughs> this is what I bought. <laughs> Look at this dragonfly. I don't know if you saw the dragonflies when we were going through the drawers. I loved the dragonfly. And I was wondering about hanging it as a charm on a journal, you know, because you could put the thread through it because it's a button and then the bees. And then I got another kind of bees, but <laughs> that is all I picked up and had I been thinking about it there were things I saw in the video that I would have grabbed but I was trying to do a good job filming and then get out so other people could come in thanks so much for watching and I will link to information about this store down below in the description bye bye